Welcome to Small Lave. This is a survival match. Basically, it's a ferrocerium piece of rod, the same thing you have in a small flint. And I got this for less than a dollar from eBay. So this is a really cute thing, but its head is too bulky. I don't like it. So I've been thinking of changing this. Also, this whatever piece of metal is quite useless and yes I'm a Leatherman person so there are better ways to get sparks than this piece of metal whatever that is so I've been thinking of taking this out and fitting it with a new housing so I can put it on my keychain whenever we were hiking in the woods and we'd want to make a small campfire a safe campfire of course that would be a nice and easy way always with me so let's get started first thing first let's get rid of all this second thing I'm gonna hack this through and get this out. I'll do that off camera. As you can see it's just stuck in there. I expected it to have some sort of shape that would form inside the plastic but it was just in there. As you can see this is really tight even though I did cut it. By the way while cutting this thing and I'm, I should remind you I was using a hacksaw. You could clearly smell hot plastic so I don't know what kind of plastic this is ABS, PLA, something rigid it is quite strong, That's, that was impressive now that we have the bar you can get cracking at it we'll start with this tubing This will not fit in there. This is a 5mm brass stock and we'll make a plug out of it. Okay, now we have a knob that fits. Our setup quite nicely. And I just wanted to trim it and give it a nice decor at the end. This is cute. This is definitely good enough for my needs my mistake there was a burr inside here which I didn't notice so this is now undersized I'll repeat the whole process and make a new one that is 4.3 outer diameter 
now 4.0. So this is the final knob. I open focus. This will enter this way and just plug the back end against dirt and whatever that can get in there. So one side is ready and now we have to make sure that we have another side ready. So we have the bottom and we need something for the top. I've turned off camera two small grooves for these o-rings. I originally wanted to thread it but this material whatever the stainless steel is it's really tough and I couldn't get it to start. Well we have a few off-camera modifications the knob actually the, the plug at the bottom of the tubing that will contain our ferrocerium rod is already done and you've seen it. I've trimmed down the top and as you've seen I've turned this one and this was supposed to be the knob to, to hold everything but um, it's not exactly fitting properly so we don't we have too much play here. So what I did off camera was to turn this down to four millimeters and make a new head and this is it it's been drilled four millimeter green seven millimeter to match this and as you can see we have a good fit and also this fits nicely in I hope you heard that so basically we're ready what I need to do is I'll turn this down to six millimeters over a distance of seven millimeters. So we'll have a six by seven millimeter rod coming out of the back end. And then what we'll do is I'll drill a hole right through the center of that rod and that will hold it in the keychain. So I think we should get started. Perfect. Well, this is the final part of the build. We have this turned down. This is the holder that will hold the outside shield or tubing. And it's fairly snug. And this is the plug. Now, this was initially designed to be this part, but it's too short. I thought I could hold it. So We'll just chuck that. This will be the final mount. And we have a hole, a centered hole for the final assembly on a keychain. And we're basically ready to go. I'll add some lock Loctite. Let's go. Let me put some gloves on.
So that's done. It's already a good fit. And I originally thought of epoxying it. What I'll do is I'll put a dab of You don't really need much. And that's locked. Basically we're done. So now we have a nice fire starter and a protective sheet and we can put it on a keychain. Let's do that. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.